All right, I've started my timer, and the reason I've started my timer is because YouTube is a mean, scary place, and they have a lot of obstinate rules. And honestly, you kids shouldn't be watching this video anyway if you're just kids, because this is a game for grown-ups, which you are not. You you are not a grown-up because, you know, you think you're a grown-up because you play Fortnite and go shooty bang bang. Um, unless you know the, 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 the woes of having to pay taxes uh, on your income then you're not old enough for this game. Also, hi, Kai. Good luck with, with Raid. Um, fill, uh, empty the HP bars. Unless you're a healer, then fill the HP bars. Make the HP, make the HP bars go in a direction. Whichever direction will befit you and benefit you and bring you to the victory that you seek. HP bars do have to go both ways. Um... There's a joke there, I'm sure, and I don't know it. But whatever! I can play now! <laughs> Spicy Chimkin. Okay. Where am I going again? I'm going all the way down here. I need a taxi cab. Actually... Have I ordered everything at Cecil Cafe? I don't know. We're going to go straight across the street, and we're hopefully not going to get hit by a car. Just hop the fence. Hop the fence, Kasuga. Oh. Man, we sure get around, don't we? No, actually, I've been thinking of going on a diet lately, so this is perfect. You on a diet? What brought that on? Well, if I'm being honest, it's because I added another notch onto my belt. I'm getting fatter by the second these days, so I figured I'd better whip myself into shape. If it's weight loss you're after, I can be of service. Oh, you uh, got some diet regime I can follow? Indeed. The first thing to do is cut out carbs. You'll see a fairly large change just from that. You'll need to refrain from eating things like onigiri, bread, or noodles. If that's all it's gonna take, then sign me up. <laughs> you say that, but you'd totally try to sneak some bread in. That's where I come in. Using the Komijul surveillance system, we can observe Adachi-san cheating on his diet. But what happens then? We get out the bowguns. Ooh, a life-or-death diet. Good luck, Adachi-san. <laughs> I think I'll stick to running around. Talk about a waste of the Komijul's time. I found a mini- I mean, Tojo Clan Crest. Hey! I was just trying to kill a little bit of time so that Jack could, check, could go out. Uh, you know, Jugi Han is actually such a charming addition to the party. Like, yeah, serious, serious, serious hot assassin dude, but also just remarkably charming. Like, He's one of the more human members of the party, as crazy as it is to say. A uh, commercial district would actually be closer. I'll stop it here and see if maybe we can make something on the way. You know, let's just make something. We got a million dollars. I mean, yen. Why not? Well, haven't you heard the saying, demons run when good men go to war? I have a feeling it's just kind of like that. Uh, let's, let's see if there's anything we want. Oh, we need to level this up first, so whatever. We'll take yellow wine. Yes. Nice. Nice. Wow, pretty good. Yeah. Anybody else got something? Not high enough rank, not high enough rank. Not high enough rank. God, okay. Fine. There's the because answer. Of your investment, I was able to add even more Bro, what the fuck is Thanks that? So much. This means I can make more stuff than ever What before. is that? <laughs> 
Glad to hear it. Well, I'll do all I can to show my gratitude. Hope you'll keep coming back. Yeah. And now you need 20 million? Jeez. No golden dragonflies, which is gonna suck. Nice, nice, nice. Almost there. It is a gigantic 3D printer. Can't do that any further. Don't have the stuff for that. Sure. Just a pushing touch. I need five spiders and five scorpions. Golden shield. Whatever. Homeless guy. All of these would be good. All of these would be hella good for him. And I don't have the parts. Raw diamonds? Jeez. Oh. Oh, these are these are also really good and extremely expensive. These are all really good and extremely expensive. Well, that's fine. I can come back. And if the need arises, we could just go print more money. Because we're good like that. Did I stumble upon another side quest? Where'd that come from? Somebody help! Substory 21, dumpster of design. <laughs> Demise. Right. Just ignore what I see. Let's help the guy. Help me! Someone! Anyone! Hey, you alright? Hold still. I'll get you out right now. <sighs> Thought I was gonna die. Man, you really saved my hide. I owe you one. What were you doing in there, though? How does anyone even end up like that? Nothing shady. I can tell you that. I'm just a humble vagabond. No longer upside People down, People call me Shige-san. And that there's my treasure trove. What, this dumping ground? Yeah. I don't want to say it too loud, but this mountain of trash here is a gold mine. Eh, well... <laughs> Sometimes I get stuck trying to dig out the good stuff. You really dig through this crap? Bet you there's not even fool's gold in there. Sure. Maybe it seems like junk on the surface. But dig deeper, and you'll come up on the good stuff. Take this doohickey, for instance. That's a watch. Oh, nice watch. I would hope so. It's worth a million yen. You serious? Why would somebody throw that away? What even is this place? Seems to me it's where the Yakuza get rid of whatever they need, well, disposed of. So I poke around here long enough, I figure I'll end up with a small fortune. <laughs> Whoa, slow down. Aren't you being kind of reckless? If you get caught, it's over for you. Oh, ain't nobody caught on yet. Besides, they're throwing away stuff they don't even want. How could they complain? Try saying that to their face. Come on. Aren't you even the least bit interested? You never know. You might find something right for you. Yeah, I don't think so. You sure? Nobody even wants this stuff. So no point in passing it all up. Anyway, why don't I give you what I found today as thanks for bailing me out? Oh. I should probably get your name first, shouldn't I? It's Kasuga. Okay then, Kasuga-san. Today, I'm bringing in the motherlode. 
Is he gonna be all right? I better come back and check up on him at some point. Sub story. Come back later. Oh. Sure. Well, some punks gonna die tonight. Oh, he's using like his basic weapon. I gotta re-equip the boy. Or maybe change his job from homeless guy. <laughs> We're right near hello work, I really should. Actually, there is no should, I'm doing it. We are literally right here. I love this game. 12 minutes in, we still haven't touched storyline at all. If you want to live, don't perceive me. That's what I thought. Besides, not only can become a fortune teller now, so why not? I don't think I've had anybody who has access to that class yet. I mean, that job yet. That's fine. That's fine. Can I help you? Homeless guy. You're doing great. Do your best out there. So now we definitely need to get him a weapon. And now we go back to frickin' Romance Workshop and see if we can't make a weapon for him. And everything works out, because that's how life is. We make it work. If you want to live, don't perceive me. It's what I thought. I've got to be able to make a, a ball. Stra uh, craft weapon. I sure as hell can't. Hey, Mana Bender, wh where do I get fortune teller weapons? Oh, that's, that's got, it's got to be like the expensive shops. It's got to be, it's got to be like, I bet you it's the shop lunch. It's got to be. Well, we're going to try there. Specialty store in Chinatown. Amusingly, I just took a taxi to Chinatown, so... Ha! Ah, let's go. I wasn't too far off the mark. Don't look at me! Oh, you're dead. You're dead. You, you, you done screwed up now. Let's go! You wanna fight that cock? Oh, 
Wow, Ichiban, you didn't need to go that hard on the dude. And then we can go do thing. Excuse me, pardon me. Wrong door. Sorry. Excuse me, pardon me. Two million. I can't afford that. It would be great, but I can't afford it. <laughs> yeah. Nope, it unfortunately is extremely accurate. It's gotta be, hold on. Hold. Oh. oh, hi Sage. Mm. Hi, I love you too. That's air horns. That's air horn worthy. We're 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 filling the screen with cat. Thank you very much, Sage. This uh, that really does mean a lot to me. Gambling Hall 1 is upgradable. Let's see. Weapons. Homeless guy. Hitman. Gangster. Barmaid. Clerk. Bodyguard. Host. Foreman. Musician. Breaker. Enforcer. Chef. Fortune teller. Looks like we're going to the gambling hall. Sorry, I'm too poor to be here. So the Japanese gambling hall, not the one with Hold'em. So not this gambling hall. Where's the other gambling hall? I legit. Mm -hmm. Under the bridge? Under the bridge. So somewhere around here?
Oh, I'm on a bender helping me discover the new stuff. Let's go. So go to survive, go north, then east. Don't press. All right. Uh, I'd like to apologize to whoever owns the scooter I just knocked over. I didn't mean to. North and east, there's a little ladder on the map. I have... I see ladder! Oh, it's... it's... down here? No. It's down here. I can't believe I haven't discovered this yet. What's up here? You got confidence, brother. That sack must weigh a ton. Uh. That look in your eyes. It's like a salmon swimming upstream, not giving a fuck about statistical impossibilities. Alright, I'll show you what's here. So I have a feeling I would have gotten kicked out if I didn't have enough confidence. Mm -hmm. Cool! More sidetracking with gambling. I love it. I mean I'm here to get a I'm here to get a weapon for oh. Prize Exchange. Uh let's see, the stone orb is the weapon in question for 300 tags. Or a pure gold ball for 100,000 tags if I'm incredibly good. Buy wooden tags. How much do you want? It's 100 yen a point. Oh. And that's upgradable? We might have to look into that. Wait, 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 wait. Yo, I could get silver bugs here? Get out. Well, we we can't we can't just leave without playing a game. Deck of 40 cards. Each card has a value between 1 and 10, and there are 4 of each card. 4 times 10 equals 40! There are 4 players. One of them is the dealer who plays against the other 3. We'll turn to these. It's close to 9, but if your sum exceeds 9, only the last digit counts. So if your total is 11, you actually have a 1. Game begins with 4 cards face up, and each player chooses 1 card to bet on. Each player receives an additional card from the deck. Stick with your 2 cards, or draw a 3rd card. Dealer wins in case of a tie. 4-1 play for players, 9-1 for the dealer, 3 car three of a kind, base triple. 10-10-1 is 20 times the bet. Yeah, I'll play. We're going to do some gambling real quick. Okay, let's go. Here. And we'll wager a hundred tags. Six. One more. I fucked up. 
I didn't fu I fucked up. I got three. Sob that! Ah, damn it! Go easy on me. Oh, I'm the dealer? Oh. So done. Go easy on me. Uh, this one. Uh, forty one tags. I'll take an eight. Eight's good. Hell yeah! Okay, let's go. I want this three. Seven ain't bad. I got seven. But the dealer wins ties. Never mind. I'm so done. Okay. I'll All right. Go. One more. Oh, one more big hand. Uh, oh, I get to choose first. I want the four. And I'll bet a hundred. Big bet. Three. Give me one more. I like it. I like it a lot. I don't like it. Nine. So that. I. So done. I don't actually like it at all. Interesting game, though. There might be some off-camera grinding. I really should off-camera grind the the gambling, but let's also play this game. Koi Koi. Rules. Let's play with a Hanafuda deck. Never mind, we are not playing this game right now. No. I'm gonna pass. We'll come back for, we'll come back for, you know. Prize exchange. Yeah, we'll, we'll come back for that. Oh, this is how I get out. It can be learned, but not quickly. Cool. Taxi. Having money to just blow on the, on, on, on fast travel is beautiful. Cheap improvement is cheap. Touch. Cheap improvement is cheap. Looking good. I need more mysterious stone. Damn it. Oh. It's okay. It's okay. We'll get there. At least we got him something. Also, I think what we're going to do is I think we need to change up the party a bit as much as I all right now we cut through garbage land Y'all want to live or die? That's, uh, oh. You've cho I see, you've chosen death. Well, I got this.
Tether. You may enter. Thank you, Chairman Hoshino. Captain Takabe said it would be okay for us to talk. I heard, and I believe I already know why you've come. You've done us a great service. I would not still be leader of this clan if it weren't for you. Does that mean the Seiryu clan's gonna pull through? I can't say for sure yet. About 20 to 30 percent of our men defected to the Omi. The ones who stayed are grumbling behind my back. And it's hard to blame them. They just found out the Jincho standoff was all a sham. Zhao told me he's giving up his position as the leader of the Liu Meng. Songhui is going to lead them. Yes, I know. <laughs> you just know everything, huh? Not everything. But I'll tell you what I do know. Eventually, the Seryu clan will succumb to the Omi Alliance. What? For people who had nowhere to live outside the Grey Zones, the Great Wall of Muscle was their only protection. Now it's crumbling. That's a matter of life or death for them. Already rumors are flying into Jincho's political circles. Rumors that Ogikubo's lost his touch. I'm sure Aoki got those whispers going. He never lets a good crisis go to waste. Oh, really? Aoki knows it would destroy the party if it ever revealed their chair, Ogikubo, forged money for years. Now Aoki can easily blackmail Ogikubo and force him to step down. Aoki will become the new party chair. I don't get it. Why does he want to take Ogikubo's place so bad? The party chair manages elections, so in that role, Aoki could nominate anyone he wants. He'll control the ruling party. Therefore, he'll control the nation. The whole country will be under his thumb? Yes. Especially if I'm right about his next move. I think he's gonna try to dissolve Parliament. <clears throat> dissolve Parliament? At a time like this? That's insane! Prime Minister, I understand how you must feel, being unable to rely on Ogi Kubo-sensei. But honestly, I have the power to support you better than he ever could. If an election were held today, I could guarantee you two-thirds of the seats, minimum. Do you have a solid plan for doing that? Yes. I'll send Bleach Japan to the districts where the citizens' liberal party is weakest. Bleach Japan can influence votes anywhere. They're incredibly popular. Plus, they have my endorsement. A victory for the party would, of course, move your personal political goals forward. Oh. Tell me, do you think you have the power to maintain the party's stability right now? We don't want it breaking up for lack of support from Ogi Kubo Sensei. You can talk that way to the house, but not to me. Appoint me to party chair and hold an election. If you don't, I'll be forced to make public the nature of Ogi Kubo Sensei's crimes. That would mean the end of not only your administration, but the party itself. But there's no precedent for someone serving as both governor and party chair. Besides, you're much too young. If age is what you want, start digging for some old fossil who can stop me. That is, if you think you can find one. Anyone in particular come to mind? Mm. Ah. 
Aki's scheme to destroy the Great Wall worked. Now he's got Mabuchi and the Omi at his command. So much power vested in just one man. And it had to be Masato Arakawa. Kasuga, I know you never intended to be at the center of all this. It was pure coincidence that you were there when the soap landowner died. Wouldn't you agree? Yep. Lucky me. But one thing I don't believe is a coincidence is that you ended up in Ijin Show. Huh? What do you mean? Do you still have that fake bill? Yeah. Uh, didn't... Didn't you say you knew how it ended up on me? Yes. Only one person in the world could have put that bill in your pocket. Who? Who is it? Masumi Arakawa himself. Arakawa-san? No, he... He's the one who shot me. Yes. I'm aware he shot you. But did you ever consider that maybe he did that so you would end up here? What? That fake bill was his letter of introduction between you and me. It was to let me know that you were one of Masumi Arakawa's men. Uh, it's kind of a weird way to introduce us, don't you think? I think what it means is Arakawa's goals do not align with those of Ryo Aoki. Well, then... What are Arakawa's goals? I really can't say. But I do know that he means business. He wouldn't have used that bill if he didn't. Chairman, how exactly do you know Arakawa-san? Huh. Well, that's a long story. And there's a much better place than here to tell it. Heian Tower. Heian Tower? Yes. That's where my fate intertwined with Arakawa's. <laughs> he sure seems to be partial to Peking Duck. Yeah. Let's have it for lunch tomorrow. My treat. I'll make the reservation. If memory serves... Hasn't Kasuga been completely unable to enjoy Peking Duck the entire game? I'm half expecting him to not get to eat here, either. Listen. Remember how he said it wasn't chance that you came to the okay. show? Yeah, something like that. Well, while you were bleeding out from a gunshot wound, I was working my ass off to find the tools to treat you. I doubt you remember. Nah, you know my gratitude is deeper than the oceans for that. Well, I think the part you'll want to know is the one who told me to treat you was none other than the chief. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was the middle of the night. I was asleep, of course. Chief and a few guys came to me in a panic and asked me to fix you up. Mm. But now that I think about it, why would they care? So that's supposed to mean you don't need a motive to save a dying man, do you? If you were one of us, sure. I would have done it, no questions asked. But getting involved with a shot Yakuza? That's asking for trouble. If they really wanted to save you, why didn't they drop you off at a hospital or call an ambulance? Huh. But the chief wanted to keep it in-house. So I think the chief must have had a reason he wanted to save you. A reason we still don't know. Guess he might. 
think it relates to what Chairman Hoshino was saying about you being here isn't just jokes. Well, every hobo has a secret or two he's hiding. Hey. You got time before your picking duck date. Maybe talking with the chief would be a good idea. All right, let's go meet up with the chief, who is just down the way, so we can walk it. We'll huff it. Don't perceive me if you want to live. Oh. Nah, just keep walking. Just keep walking. Watch me. Let's go. Here we go. Let's do it. <laughs> I love it. That animation for attacking a downed opponent is the best thing. Just drop. Praise the sun. Don't perceive me if you want to live. Don't perceive me if you want to live. Watch me. I'm not down. Get serious. That is the appropriate reaction to seeing a fight like that. Just kind of backing off. Hell yeah. Sorry, guys. Oh, man. Watch me. Wow, that's a hell of a cold. Good stuff. Go. 
Hold it together. Nah, they hit that that count and connected. It's all good. Why are there 60 gazillion people on the way to where I need to go? Oh. Okay. Started Earthbound, but I've never finished it. Chief. Hmm. My friends got some questions about the day I was dumped in this town. Yeah, I want to know why you didn't just abandon Ichiban, or dump him at a hospital. If you don't mind telling the us, new age sure hippies and cold being a status effect, I do remember having a cold being a status effect. Mm, I see. Fine, and I'll tell you. It's as good a time as any. Uh, uh, what? There's an old tradition in this homeless camp. A responsibility passed down through the chiefs for many years. What responsibility? On occasion, when we're asked, we dispose of bodies. What? Bodies? Yeah. There's a Yakuza family from Kamurocho who pays us to do it. They're called Arakawa. Arakawa? Seriously? They... Uh, was this going on while they were still Tojo? I don't know every detail, but yes. The arrangement existed at that time. It existed before I started living here. We've dealt with all kinds of bodies, whether they've been shot, stabbed, beaten, no matter how nasty. We dug holes and buried them under garbage. Who knows how many are there now? Back during the bubble, we got one every month, or so I was told. Since I became chief, there's only been three. Damn. Arakawa the assassin. But there's one more secret rule. It applies to anyone the Arakawa bring here alive. A uh, secret within the secret. Great. What happens if they bring someone alive? We're supposed to give the person medical aid, then let them go free, while pretending they're dead. Uh, what's up with that? In the criminal underworld, there's always people wanting to fake their own death. Gamblers, guys on the run, anyone who's afraid someone will hurt them. They send people like that here, and we honor the secret agreement. I think it might actually be a service the Arakawa family provides, but obviously they don't advertise it. So it ended up being a very rare event. Is that agreement why you saved me? This live body rule you got it what sort of guy dropped me off here i mean probably just someone from the family i had no reason to check or anything the guy lugged you out of the trunk of a car you were covered in blood he paid me and left didn't say a single thing the whole time I'm sorry, Ichi. You have to die. I'm counting on you, Ichi. Huh? What the...? Hmm? After Arakawa-san shot me, I think he said something. I think it was... I'm counting on you, Ichi. What would that even mean? No clue. 
But the more I think about it, the more I'm sure he said that. I am not Look, holding my breath John. for it, but I'm really hoping there's like some what? father son esque good reunion between. I don't want to dash your hopes or anything. When you were dumped here, you were on death's doorstep. You're only alive because everything I did went exactly the way we needed it to. But it could have easily gone a different way. I know you want to trust Arakawa, but... I think Arakawa-san had to shoot me. All the other Yakuza at that meeting were watching him. Huh? Never mind. You don't get it. Forget I said anything. Well, time to go to Heian Tower. Which is... A cab ride! So one other thing that suddenly comes to mind about the references to Earthbound is wasn't there also like some 30 or 40 different battle themes? Because I remember a lot of enemies having unique battle themes. Did I see a sh I saw shiny. Give shiny. I found a mini ma at Dojo Clan Crest. I just want to see Ichiban actually get to eat his duck. You sure you don't mind treating me? What? Are you actually able to pay? Wish I could, but I don't think they take this. You don't sound like you're gonna relax during this meal. Depends on what you say. Hopefully I'll relax enough to enjoy the duck. So, uh, how do you know Arakawa-san? I'm on the edge of my seat here. It wasn't long after the war the counterfeit bills started being produced in Ijincho. It was top secret. Only the heads of the Seiryu clan and the Liumang, plus some officers, knew about it. Outside of that inner circle, they also had to hire people to smuggle the bills. Smugglers? And one of them was a traveling actor. His name was Toshio Arakawa. He was Masumi Arakawa's father. What? Flashback to the opening. One day he came to us saying he lost an entire suitcase filled with a hundred mil in fake yen. No excuse in the world could have saved him. A mistake that grave required the Seiryu clan to make an example out of him for the other smugglers. <laughs> but remember, only a few people at the top even knew about the counterfeiting. It wasn't a task they could hand to just anybody. So I, being next in line to inherit the clan, was entrusted to carry it out. So did you... you actually... Yes. I killed Toshio Arakawa. Father of Masumi Arakawa. In this very place. Forty years ago. But I had no idea who was in the room with my target. By the time I learned it was his 14-year-old son. It was too late. I had to go through with the hit, knowing this boy would see his father die. To make my guilt even worse, later I found out why Toshio lost the fake bills. His wife and her lover had stolen them. Those two fell into the ocean and disappeared. 
Their corpses were never even found. So Arakawa-san lost both his parents, one after the other. And his only other friends, the theater troupe, disbanded soon after without their leader. Masumi Arakawa became a drifter, along with a few other actors. They couldn't trust anyone, so what other path was there for them? Except becoming Yakuza in Kamurocho. Arakawa joined a low-ranking family in the Tojo clan called the Hikawa family. Life wasn't easy for him there. They were the kind of family that took hits without thinking twice. Really? Yes. So they were always in need of ways to dispose of a body. Masumi Arakawa was tapped to help with that. And he was extremely cautious. To do it, he started coming all the way to the homeless camp in Ijincho. Really? Even though the family was based in Tokyo? Why? Well, truthfully, he wanted an excuse to come to Yokohama. Because it would afford him opportunities to hunt his father's killer. I see. So Arakawa-san was using the homeless camp to dispose of bodies all the way back then. Indeed. As for his hunt, he researched Yakuza and criminals every time he was here. All he started with was a single clue. His own childhood memory of the suspicious waiter he saw here that night. Eventually, seven years after the murder, I received an invitation to come here. He signed his invitation Masumi Arakawa. It was a bold declaration, and I knew immediately the running would be futile. So I came here, alone. I didn't even bring a bodyguard. Why the hell not? Well, to put it simply, I was prepared to die. But, I mean... In this line of work, there are no good ways to die. And I can think of worse ways to go that would not give that boy the justice he'd earned. The memory of what I'd done to him never left me, you know. It was always like a small bone stuck in my throat. He was sitting right where you are now. Here? Yes. He didn't look a day over 20, but his eyes had that hard, flinty gaze of an old killer. I couldn't help myself. I told him everything. I told him why I killed Toshio Arakawa. I even told him about the secret counterfeiting. I figured I was dead anyway. He had a gun in his hand, and all he had to do was pull the trigger. But he never once interrupted me. When I'd finished, he slowly stood up. I stopped him as he turned to leave. Why'd I hear a footstep? Didn't you come here for revenge? I asked. And? What did he say? He said, If only you had ignored my invitation, then I could have shot you in the back. Then, he left. Uh, boss. In 1984, the 10,000 yen bill changed from the face of Prince Shotoku to Yukichi Fukuzawa. By that time, Arakawa had found his own Yakuza family. So I sent him a gift. What was it? A fresh batch of crisp, fake bills featuring Yukichi Fukuzawa. They were defective prints with nothing on the back. <laughs> Not exactly legal tender. Then how was that a gift? 
it's hard to explain. If I had to say, it was out of gratitude. Sure, but for what? I should have died that day I met with Arakawa. It would have been right. And yet he spared me. Not only that, but he lifted a terrible weight from my chest. Furthermore, it's not an exaggeration to say the equilibrium among the Ejin Three continues to this day because of him. Wow. I owe him an unfathomable debt. And one day, I... I must pay it back. The defective bills were how I chose to communicate the sentiment. Coincidences start to feel the real. The counterfeiting secret is Ejin Cho's weakness. And it was only thanks to Arakawa that the Ejin Three could continue to secretly wield that power. But of course, that means if he ever feels like it was a mistake to let me live, he can use the fake bills to unravel everything I've built. The gift wasn't the bills themselves, they were leverage. I actually wrote something on the back to that effect. Neither justice nor mercy should tip the scale. It means that those in power must reward and punish where necessary. I felt it was an appropriate message. I suppose the writing has faded at this point. Whoa. That's the whole story. Up till this moment. But now I'm sitting across from a man holding one of those fake pills. Which, of course, is a message from Arakawa that only I could understand. The message is, Masumi Arakawa sees you as a beloved family member. Arakawa-san thinks of me as family. You would not have placed that bill in your pocket lightly. Do you see its significance now? After everything I've told you? <clears throat> there is almost no doubt in my mind that Arakawa did not want you killed. So he didn't shoot you out of malice. He shot you so that you would be brought here, be saved by the homeless, and eventually meet up with me. Do you see? <clears throat> That's everything I can tell you. That's plenty. Thank you, Chairman. I see it all now. I always kind of figured. You did? Well, it's your move now. I've only told you what I know, so... It's okay. That's enough. I trust you. <laughs> well, I don't hear that often. Yeah, neither do I. Not even from my friends. But those friends are trustworthy to me. And so are you. I believe everything you said. And my faith in Arakawa-san is coming back strong. Kasuga. Yeah? Are you a blood relative of Arakawa's? <laughs> no, it's not like that. I see. Well, he must have been happy to have such loyalty as yours. As proud as any father, I think. Please let there just be duck under that dome. Please let it not be a gun. Man. Man.